Hi, Terry Van Noy. Welcome to Math Class with Terry V. Hope this video helps you out, and if you enjoy it, please share it, comment, or like it. And you can also go to my website, mathpowerline.com. It's a math resource blog, uh, lesson videos for students, and other resources for parents and teachers. Give me a call, or go to my website or email. All right, let's go to today's lesson. All right, welcome here. We're solving logarithmic equations. All right, the key is to find equal expressions. Now, in this case, in these series of uh, these uh, next two videos, we're going to be talking about how you can change something in logarithmic form into exponential form and save and figure out your answer that way. All right, we're always looking for equal expressions, so the bases of the logarithmic function have to be the same. And it's going to take a couple steps, but I want you to take a look at these examples here. We're going to look at 9 through 12 here, and notice how the value here, in this case, is the variable. We're solving for the variable, but we have a log of a certain base, and that equals our logarithmic value. Now, in all these cases, the little number next to log, of course, is the base. All right, so therefore it's going to be our large number here. This over here is the exponent. Okay, the logarithm is always the exponent. So now let's go ahead and put the 2 there. So we've got 6 to the second power. 6 is the base, 2 is the exponent. And then this is the value that we expect. All right, 6 squared equals x. Now we know what 6 squared is. That's got to be 36. So therefore, we have solved for x, and it's simply a matter of writing it in exponential form, and we should get 36. All right, and why don't you try these next three, write it or think of it in exponential form, and solve. Go ahead. All right, we've seen number, number 9 is 36, of course, but here we go. Number 10 is 1. Now, why is that? Well, we have a base of 3 and the exponent is 0 and that is supposed to give us our x value 3 to the 0 power and of course you remember in algebra anything to the 0 power is 1 there we go number 11 log base 8 of m equals 2 okay well 8 is the base number 2 is the exponent and m is what we're looking for 8 squared which of course is 64 see how easy that is all right, writing from log form into exponential form. Now let's see, if you don't have a base showing, what is that? That's right, that's base 10. So 10 to the fourth power equals the n we're looking for, and 10 times 10 times 10 times 10, or a one with four zeros is 10,000. All right, next video is a problem set that I want you to try. Thanks for watching. All right, there you have it. I invite you to go to my website now, mathpowerline.com, or email me or give me a call. The way I work best with students is live online in my classroom. So if I can help you in any way, answer some specific questions, the first lesson with me is free as I show you how everything works. All right, study hard and take care.